बिफोर मैरिज फैमिल इज हायर प्रोफेशनल डिटेक्टिव टू सर्च अबाउट द अदर फैमिली इन इंडिया देर इज अ विलेज इन इंडिया वेर दे डोंट लॉक देर हाउस इनफैक्ट दे डोंट इवन हैव लॉक इन बैंक्स हैव यू एवर हर्ड ऑफ प्रोफेशनल इयर क्लीनर्स Yes my friend in today's video we are going to react on 21 strange thing only happens in India some might i know some might i don't know so let's together we explore all the strange thing before we start the video those who are newcomers first timers on my channel i request you all please subscribe my channel like it share it if you want to hear in future more from me please hit the bell icon so without doing any further ado let's dig in Now before somebody gets married in India they get a thorough shall we say snooping sometimes without even being aware of that there are pre-matrimonial detective agencies in India that provide services of private investigators there are also um uh, i would like to talk about this something yeah there are professional detectives who hire uh by families to inquire about each other's family before they get married uh but this only happens in higher society those who are rich because these kind of detectives are so expensive so normal people like me and other who are common people uh they actually don't hire these kind of professionals but uh what they do uh for example if uh, the other family living in another city they might search someone who is living in that particular city and try to know about that particular family that which kind of family they are uh, the boy is uh, or girl is good the boy is drinking or not or gambling or smoking uh, the family respect family value so to know this kind of stuffs uh, families hire detectives but having said that let me tell you this also that these all things are going to vanish so soon because now with the more and more liberty amongst the youngsters and new generations coming they actually don't care about families and these and that and they if they just like the boy or the girl they just get married so this kind of stuffs are still there but in higher society and soon it's going to vanish to spit inspectors these people also spit known as inspectors detectives, i don't know what they do and give i never heard of those who litter or spit in public one more profession you aren't likely to meet anywhere else is an ear cleaner so the process of removing earwax requires some traditional instruments they don't use q tips we're so used to their instruments are called the steel needle some cotton and a pincer yikes the ear cleaner rolls some cotton around the needle so it looks like a q tip and the clients have their ears clean ear cleaners usually can be found somewhere in the city center around monuments or at a local market this profession is rare and exotic in today's india but it used to be quite common i had three times my ear cleaning and i must tell you that first time when he did he bring out so much of waste for my ears and i was in doubt like is it faking or what because i regularly clean my uh, ears and it's not possible that i have this much of waste material in my ears but believe me next time when i had second time i make sure that i look his hands look his tools and he is not doing anything wrong but he is literally taking out so many stuffs from my ears i i saw that and you know last two times i got sleep uh, because when they do it it feels so good so i i went to sleep god <laughs> this country your dream may come true and you'll get paid for sliding down a water slide huh? the profession's called water slide tester and these people have to control if the slides are both safe and fun Huh? Usually these people work in various hotels. There is professional like this planes traveling from one resort to another. I didn't know this. There's a village where locals have no locks on doors. Not a single house there has one. Even public toilets have no locks or doors, only a curtain. Thank you. It might seem somewhat reckless, but in fact, it's one of the safest places out there. The locals lean a wooden stick against the door just to keep the stray dogs out of their houses. The only police station opened there only in 2015. 
And still, there are no complaints. Even the local bank has no lock. It's officially the only bank in the world that's never locked. When the locals are out of town, they don't ask the neighbors to look after their houses, and they're not afraid to leave valuables, money, and jewelry without hiding them. Um, there is one village in India. This is 100% true. They don't have locks in house, banks, anywhere you will go. They don't have locks. In fact, in house, so many houses don't have doors. The reason is... They, uh, the reason is related with the uh, religious belief. You know, that particular village people believe that if I steal something or if I will do something against my neighbor, God will give curse. God will give punishment. So your seventh generation has to pay for that. And they scared of that. They get fear of this. That's why they never uh, steal or in fact they there is no crime in, at all in that village and as the video is saying there is uh, no police station until 2015 and after 2015 there is police station but there is no complaint because people are living there as a family uh, with the harmony no locks no crime no problem so that's 100 percent true and so many Foreign medias came to cover this, but they never find any trouble there. So that's true. Vegetarian dishes are quite popular in India. Ah. Between 15 and 30 percent of the whole country's population are vegetarian. Some people tend to eat fish only and never eat any land animals. Many large food chains, famous for yummy meat dishes, even provide a whole new vegetarian menu for India. Cutlery isn't really required for many traditional Indian dishes. They say that mouth-watering curry tastes even better if eaten with the fingers. Now, I would assume that you'd want to eat the fingers separately, but hey, just thinking out loud here. There's also a wide range of crazy traditional dishes, but there's one called, okay, let's just put it on the screen, thanks. It's made from potatoes, which are pretty common for Indian food. The exotic part is that the potatoes in the dish are actually extra old. Even more, they're yeah. rotten. And there's a bunch of traditional spices. It's just a side dish. You'll need to choose the main course. Samosas are another traditional Indian dish made of potatoes. They're deep fried and look like dumplings. And they're both a side dish and a main course. Now, if you love shirt... Uh, you know, this is true. Uh, if you come to India and if you try KFC of here or McDonald's or any big brand, even Pepsi or Coca-Cola, you will find slightly different taste what you ever uh, tasted before. Because uh, India is obviously a big market, second uh, most uh, populated uh, country in the world. So it's a big market. So if any brand you ask, any big, big brands, if they want to... Uh, stay in the India or if, if they want to make good business in India, they have to change their pattern as suitable to India. So, if you come ever to India, if you will try anything, whatever brand it would be, you will find Indian touch definitely inside. So, yeah, that's true. Don't forget the thing Sugar is invented by I know that. There about 2,500 years ago. Then the Chinese picked up the technique and it spread all over the world. Another thing you should be grateful to India for is shampoo. Oh, yeah. The very first version I was made from it. dried herbs, some extracts, and water. Soap berries and soap nuts were widespread in India. So this component was a perfect match for the shampoo formula. It's probably because of the right shampoos that most Indians have absolutely stunning hair and cool hairstyles. Um, you know, let me tell you this. My mom, she's still using some herbs. Every month she brings some herbs, two, three kinds of herbs. She's putting some oil. I don't know the herbs name, sorry about that. She's putting some uh, oil and um, that mixture she keep it for some days and then that mixture get fermented and you can literally see after a few days uh, the foams is coming out and she uses that and her head never got dandruff or never got any kind of you know other problem 
And yeah, I mean, she still uses this from years. She never used that chemical shampoo once. By the way, in India, it's possible to cut clients hair with fire. It's not that widespread. You might have oh, seen this, but this through. has done first time in India. Yeah, yes. hair with some flammable Cutting powder. hair through then the they light it up and fire. set the hair on fire. While the hair's burning, the stylist creates the right shape with the help of two combs. He says the fire helps fix the hair right. He also... Uh, no, not fix. I mean, the video is little... Uh, they actually make fire to cut the split and hairs. You know, it's easy to cut. And when uh, the split and when, when they burn it, the split ends, which is not useful, they easily get burned. So, yeah, that's the reason. Clients who have at least 15 clients each day who come to get this very cut. He sure makes it look like it's a singe to do. <laughs> if you like holidays, India is the yeah. destination for you. Every India day we have two or three or one festival. Festivals. Sometimes people even celebrate the first hair cutting or who knows, hair burning. All of the local celebrations are totally worth seeing. Holi is the festival of colors and people consider it to mark the beginning of spring. It starts at the end of February and finishes in March. It involves the famous powder throwing, so don't wear that brand new white shirt to the festival. Diwali is the celebration of lights that lasts five days. People yeah. give gifts to each other, usually sweets, five days and of thousands history. of candles and oil lamps. No other country in the world has that many celebrations. India holds a lot of world records, too. The largest sundial in the world is located in the town of Jaipur. Yeah, countless a tower, records, 90 feet point, tall. Yeah. It's made of polished stone and looks like an architectural masterpiece. The shadow of this sundial moves at about two and a half inches per minute. So you can see the time literally. I didn't knew there. this actually. Another longest thing in India are nails. Huh? According to the Guinness World Records, the longest fingernails ever belong to an Indian man. Whoa. They're almost as long as a London double decker box. He got them off back in 2018. <laughs> Is it? But before. The total length of all his fingernails had reached 358 inches. There's also a record for the quantity of movies produced per oh, year. Yeah, that I know. In 2018, 1,813 new movies were filmed in India. The quantity is so impressive that if you wanted to watch all the movies made in the country in 2018 and you watched a movie per day, you'd still be watching them today in 2021. North one more thing I want to talk about Indian film industry, north part of India, uh, film industry called as Bollywood. Everybody, whole world know about Bollywood, Bollywood, but there is two big parts of uh, Indian film industry. North side of how many states comes into the north side, the film industry called Bollywood, but the south side film industry, they call it Tollywood and if we combine Bollywood and Tollywood together, there are so many movies they make per year. So it's literally not possible to watch, I think, just one year of movie in up to five years. They make so many movies, you know. So yeah, it's a big industry. Sentinel Island, which is a part of India. It's probably yeah, the I world's most remote place since nobody can If you go it. here, they directly the key, not talk. There. The locals are quite introverted and would always reject any contact from outside. No ship is allowed to come closer than five nautical miles, and special people always patrol the area. It's one of the very few places in the world that has no modern civilization. Yeah. Recently, the island's been open to the researchers, but tourists still can't visit it. Several years ago, two frogs got married in one coastal huh? town named Udupin. Huh? It was done to encourage the rainfall. It was too hot, over 120 a degrees Fahrenheit. Both animals had unique outfits for this occasion, and the bride even had a tow ring. The two frogs were sent off on a honeymoon to Manapala and were released there. Sadly, each of these guys had to go their own way a couple of months later because the locals had to stop the downpour that started soon after their wedding somehow. There are not four, but six seasons overall here. According to the North, yeah. West, and Central Indian calendars, Indian spring is in March and April. Next comes summer, also known as hot season. 
It starts in May and finishes in June. It's also one of the marriage seasons. Next comes monsoon, also known as rainy season. It starts after the summer solstice, usually in July, and lasts throughout August. Next comes fall, which spreads from late September to mid-November. After fall, they have a pre-winter or simply cool season. The real winter or cold season starts in January and goes on until February. In fact, there are many more other calendars in India, but all of them have six seasons with slight differences. No the Statue of Unity is actually twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty, reaching yeah. 600 feet. It was open to the public only about two years ago, back in 2018. The statue consists of five parts, but only three of them are accessible to visitors. The first part starts at the statue base and finishes at the shins. This zone has three levels and includes the exhibition area, a garden, and a museum. The second part reaches up the statue's thighs. The third one has a is the one of the 500 feet. Freedom the fight goes the maintenance here. area and it's visitors fun. can't get there. Finally, the fifth one comprises the shoulders and head. In the first 11 days after its opening, almost 130,000 tourists came to see this colossal statue. That's more than the population of the capital of Kansas, Topeka. Apparently, a whole lot of people showed up Topeka at this statue. Yeah, <laughs> pun intended. So some are new for me to like frog wedding and longest nail. I didn't knew about that. And you know, this is the beauty of uh, every part of the world. You living in a same country, but you might don't know what is going on in the other side of your country. You know, that's a beauty. Uh, those who are watching, I request you all, please, uh, if you have any shocking or strange thing in your place, Please comment below. We will talk about it. I would really like to know that according to you in your place or what if you know something which is strange for you or which, which can be strange for the people, please share it uh, with me so uh, we can talk about it. I might, I might make video about it. I might search about it. Please, please tell me that uh, wherever you watching this video, all my subscribers, all my viewers, I'm requesting you all. Uh, if you find something interesting or uh, something strange or only happens in your part of the world, please comment below. I would really like to know and I would search about it and try to make video on that. And you know, this is the beauty. If we, if we share each other's culture, if we share each other's information, uh, we will uh, increase our information, we will increase our knowledge uh, and we, it, it can bring us uh, near more and more. So. Those who are watching, I request, please, please tell me. I would like to know uh, what, how many seasons in Philippines. Because, you know, I'm always confused. Because some of the subscribers, when I talk to them, when I uh, ask, uh, they some say it's always rainy. Some say it's always hot. So I'm really confused about Philippines uh, with the condition. What, how many se seasons in the Philippines? And uh, in your part, how many seasons? And... Which kind of season uh, are in the Philippines? Please, please uh, uh, comment me that too. And one more thing I want to tell you. If you have any question regarding this video, if you want to know more about this video, uh, you know, I already gave description of original video in the description. You can always go there and watch it. And also, if you have any question regarding India, I will try my best to answer you. Please ask me. Please comment me. So, uh, according to my knowledge, uh, if I don't know, I, I might search for you and I will reply you. If you have any question regarding India, please comment me, talk to me. See you in another interesting video. Till then, goodbye.